Hello, this is God7, and I'm back with another tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about texture animations. Now, why I'm making another tutorial on texture animations is that they're on the latest release of SM64 DSE currently, the best editor version. There's been a huge update to the texture animations and how they're made, so. We're going to go look at that and how to view them, how to set our own, etc. So you're going to need to download the latest version. If you don't download the latest version, you may not have this feature. So we're going to want to do that. And we're going to open our ROM, which is going to be this one right here. Now another cool thing is you can change the way you view the level names. I'm just going to go with the default cool, cool mountain. Okay, so you can see here that in this level we have no texture animations, but let me go to a level real quick that does. So say, uh, I probably don't have any there, let's go to Snowman's Land. Okay, this one has texture animations. I know that because if I go to texture animations, you can see that there's an animation here. You can kind of see the slow movement of the water and there's the preview window right there which shows you how the animation will look in game which is pretty interesting now I'm gonna go back over here to our where we're going to make our new texture animation so we're going to hit create animation data for area now we're going to decide the animation length in frames now this can vary. Usually if you want something fast, you do a lot of frames, and if you want something slow, you would, no, if you want something fast, you do a little amount of frames, and if you want something slow, you would do a bigger amount. So, but I'm going to do a mix of both here, so I'm just going to set this to like 500. Okay, so you can see we have these buttons here which show us all the textures that our model uses which is great and all if you don't know where they are you can just browse around in this thing you're like oh yeah there we go anyways we're going to try and animate this material over here. Remember how you had to try and find the name of materials? Well, don't need to do that anymore because you just have the list of all the materials. You can also delete the animation data. So, yeah. Anyways, let's create an animation. You'll notice that this is a very, 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 very boring animation. Because it doesn't do anything, despite it being an animation and having all these keyframes, which we can go all the way here, 4 minutes and 19 seconds long, or seconds, it, they're still not very interesting. Actually, I don't know how this thing counts numbers, so I'm, I'm just not going to say anything, because I don't know how it but let's make a simple animation well first of all this isn't really selecting our only box there and we're going to make it do just that anyways like I was saying that they're selecting all these rectangles which is not exactly what we want we just want to select the small part of the rectangle so we want to check mark select all values and I'm going to lower the scale Whoa, I want to make it so that it fits the animation thing here. So we're kind of over here. Now I'm going to set, now I'm going to make a translation X because we're going to just want to do that. I'm just going to uncheck that and hit create new animation. Oh, that's not what I. <laughs> Ah, oh, great, now I need to start over. You you don't want to just hit create new animation. That just resets everything. Don't, don't do that. 
Yeah. My bad. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to uncheck that then and hit translation X. Set keyframes. Now here we can make a value. So at the end here. So this is a one to one scale of all the frames. So this being the first and this being the last. I'm just going to set the last value to something like one. That means it'll do a complete rotation. Now I hit generate rotation animation and we should see our animation play all right I'm going to X out of it hit save then X out of it now when I hit the 3d model and hit area 0 I should start seeing a texture animation Although you may notice that's kind of zoomed in. That's because of the scale. And if I always any want to change that, I can go back into texture animations and edit modify the scale. I can make it have the original one scale and hit save and I can view the animation. Now you may notice that this waterfall goes a completely different direction. Now that can be fixed if you have it set to a different material so that we do, or we can set a rotation. So I'm going to set a rotation here. I'm just going to deselect that just in case anything get out of the way. And it's not really letting us set the rotation. Huh. I guess you're not allowed to do that, apparently. Anyways, let me try translation Y. We can always do a translation Y instead of an X for this lava. So I can delete this whole entire animation and hit create a new one. So instead of an X, we're going to go with a Y this time. So, I'm just going to hit the set keyframes and zero to one. By the way, I'm purposely doing this to show you and review all the ways we can create animations. Now instead, it goes down. Of course, you can make it go positive or negative one or whatever. And now you can see that we kind of get the opposite effect here. We get the waterfall going down, and we get this going down. You see the lava slowly moving. Now why I always set the last frame to 1 is because if it were set to like a part of the value, the animation would kind of skip. And now let's just try and do this water real quick. Since this is going to be since that goes 1 and we want the water to be fast we'll set it to something like 2 it's going to be this one so create new animation I'll just do a quick one here I'm, instead of making it go from right to left I'm going to make it go from left to right so I'm going to hit set keyframes and I'm just going to set the last one to 2 or three almost. I'm going to make it go triple the speed. Hit generate animation. Oh, I hit three and not negative three. So let me just do that again. Yep, I know. Create animation value negative three. Generate. And now we should have our animation.
Well, that's a bug. I'm not sure exactly what the scaling does. But let's try and do a simple one with 1 and 4 scaling. Oh, it seems to make it faster or slower, which is exactly what we want. So that's good. We can make our animation faster or slower. Let's just hit save and see how it looks. Oh, and look, we have it going the direction we want. Of course, the editor may lag the texture animations, but they happen. Anyways, let's just look at how it looks in game and see if it works. You can see that the game does not crash. And you can see that it's also going the opposite way in the editor. Because it should actually be going that way. You can see it move pretty quickly. Like we said to go. You can have it scale too. And do a bunch of things with the X and Y. You can't just have like... It's not that you can just have an X translation or a Y translation. You could have both. You can see the lava slowly moving, like ever so slowly. Now going back here, you can see the ice water moving very fast. And of course, they still have all the collision data that they all have. And just to show you some things, uh, you can actually set the texture animation of each keyframe manually. Like you can select one and can change the value of the Y, rotation, scale, any of that stuff. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you that you can also change the value of the Y as well. This time I'm going to hit value of 2 scaling of 2 and hit generate animation. Now you can see the animation should be uh, that was the X not the Y. Whatever. I'm going to set the Y, set creep keyframes. Nothing too serious. We can just do this again and again and again. All we want. The value of 2 scaling animation. And there we have it. We get like this diagonal animation, then we just hit save. You can view it in the editor or whatever, and then it'll work perfectly in game. Even if the editor doesn't show it being the right direction, the game will definitely. And the good thing about this new texture animation editor is that it will not crash the game whatsoever. You'll never have to worry about texture animations crashing a game, unless you forget to move, remove them in the first place. Now you can see that we have it going the same direction because I forgot to save. Uh, anyways, yeah, you can see the texture animation is moving diagonal like we set it to be. You can also see Yoshi die, like we wanted him to. Nah, just kidding. But anyways, hope you learned something from this tutorial. Even though this was mostly just me playing around with texture animations the whole time, you kind of might have, should have learned kind of how to make your own, and how you can preview your animations to make sure that they work. So... Anyways, I'll see you all later.